In this video, I took Minecraft minifigures, mobs, and pieces and challenged myself to build $1 LEGO creations. Then I dropped over $1,000 to buy about 10,000 LEGO bricks and see what Minecraft build I could make with a $1,000 budget. Then I had a literal LEGO Masters contestant and pro LEGO Minecraft builder judge my creation. I have a lot of LEGO Minecraft mobs, so I want to start by building small scenes with them. You can use a clear LEGO rod to have a Minecraft player being attacked by an angry bee. This is a LEGO goat, and this piece works well as a goat horn that it dropped. And here's a Minecraft player riding a pig with a carrot on a stick. And this is a Minecraft Enderman caught in the act of stealing Steve's precious diamond ore. No Steve! Don't look at him! Wow, rip LEGO Steve. And along the topic of Minecraft ores, we can build them all in LEGO as well. We've got diamond with light aqua, emeralds using these green 1x1 studs, lapis in darker blue, and then coal, iron ore, some gold, and redstone. You can also use some 1x1 plates in green to add more detail to a dirt block. Stacking some 2x2 trans blue bricks looks like a waterfall, and here's Steve who just completed an epic water bucket clutch. A 2x2 LEGO plate can be used as a trap door to hide the entrance of a super secret base, Bruh. and on the topic of Minecraft blocks and items, here's a simple design for an azalea bush from the lush caves, and we can also build a cool glowberry vine to go along with it. And in the $1000 LEGO build, I actually built an entire section of a lush cave as part of it, so make sure you keep watching to see that. Since LEGO only makes a select few of the utility blocks, here's a custom smoker design. Steve is really enjoying that cooked pork chop. But Steve got caught lacking, and here's a build of him sinking in powdered snow. I literally just ripped off his legs and used some jumper plates to center him on the block. And since Steve no longer has legs, he might need a new mode of transportation. This is a simple $1 build of a minecart using some gray pieces, and we can also throw in this TNT block to make it explosive. And since I don't have LEGO's official boat design, here's a small aquatic wit for Steve. Let me try the boat. Okay, now before we get into some more spicy builds, I had TD Bricks build a couple of his own sus $1 creations. Okay, so RJM challenged me to make some quick $1 Bruh. Minecraft builds, so this is what I made. This first thing I built is an Enderman standing in water. Yes, it is very cursed and it is hurting my brain cell right now. This next build is a sus villager that turned into a spider and is now holding a bunch of emeralds. This next build is Minecraft Steve who got hit by a shulker and as you can see he's now suspending in the air just waiting to fall to his death without any armor because Bruh. he's a noob and this final build is steve who got killed by a bee and then Bruh. the bee died karma that bee really got karma and since steve is a complete noob we can see the dumb things he had in his inventory he had a gold sword an enchanted hoe like out of all things you can enchant you enchant a hoe a wooden shovel an egg bucket without anything in it and a cookie. And since RJM isn't gonna say it, I'm gonna say it for him, but make sure you guys subscribe or else I'm gonna make your Minecraft character look like this. I'm going to have nightmares after seeing that villager spider, but now I want to build my own cursed Minecraft creation, so here's a fermented spider eye that literally uses a Lego cherry piece. Maybe it came from the villager. Here's two different uses for these 1x1x2 one by one by plates. A dark orange one makes a perfect potted plant, and the one in white is a great base for a Minecraft candle. Here's a minifigure scale Minecraft anvil using some dark gray, and we can swap out the tile on top for some black tiles and studs to make it look used and about to crack. A simple way to make an item frame is by using a tan jumper plate and putting an item on the stud like this 1x1 one one tile in green for a cactus, or this piece for a bucket. And speaking of buckets, here's a bucket of tropical fish using just a few pieces. Now for some rapid fire one dollar builds. This is a game actor at Spruce Door, and here's a fully kitted out player drinking a fire resistance potion in the nether. I used this Lego employee to depict a master builder holding a giant scale baby zombie, and here's Steve eating a chorus fruit. Where'd he go? Huh? Oh. Alright, now that we've built a bunch of $1 LEGO Minecraft creations, I'm going to blow $1,000 on molded plastic and build one giant creation. This 32x32 32 32 base plate will work perfect to make an entire Minecraft chunk. So here's the game plan. Step 1, the deep dark. Step 2, the caves. Step 3, the overworld. Step 4, the cliffs. And finally, step 5, the characters and mobs. Before construction begins though, I need to fill my inventory, so I acquired every single new Minecraft set off of LEGO's website. Okay, all the sets are finished, but I'll need way more pieces than that, so I went ahead and ordered 9,000 more pieces off of Brooklyn. Okay, now that those are here, I think we're ready to start building. I'll start with this dark gray 32x32 32 base plate and use a bunch of these tiles for the deep slate, and a bunch of smaller plates and tiles to make skulk veins that creep over the ground. We can also throw in some of these spicy special blocks from the deep dark lego set we got earlier, like this skulk catalyst, this shrieker, and some skulk sensors. And now that the base is in place, I put down some masonry bricks as deep slate tiles and used a bunch of candles like in the game. The ancient cities also have some cool structures, so I put together a small archway using more masonry bricks, and then used a ton of my extra dark blue plates to build a small pond in one corner. 
Next, we need to build up the walls to slope upwards so that it can actually support everything that's going to be above it. So I went through and used a bunch of the dark grey bricks I ordered, and put some redstone ore hiding behind a brick wall using the same method as those other $1 builds. Wait, no Steve, the build isn't done yet, don't take that. Then I made sure each deep slate pillar was level at the top and added a ring of light grey plates, which brings us to step 2. Okay, so we just built the bottom section of a Minecraft chunk, but now it's time to build the things in the middle. Before I start the first cave, I added some diamonds for Steve to find, and a small dirt patch to make it more realistic. I also have these pick a brick cups full of water pieces, so we can add a small pool at the bottom of this cave, and then start building up the walls. I added a bit of dripstone at the lowest part of the cave, and then went speed build mode and finished the entire cave. There was a lot of boring filling that I didn't show, but I added a bunch of different ore clusters and a lot of layers of stone. Another cool underground structure is a skeleton spawner, which actually uses a bunch of cobblestone, so I'm going to use a lot of these 1x1 one one round tiles to make the cobblestone blocks distinguishable from the normal stone. My fingers took one for the team and spent 40 minutes straight just placing tiny cobblestone blocks, and then I threw in this chest full of epic loot including this music disc for Steve to jam out to. And we can't forget the actual spawner itself. Now that that is done, I built up more walls and spiced it up by adding us another small little pond. The final world generation I want to add into the stone section of the chunk is a lush cave. We can start by adding some clay layers with white bricks and then ponds in the water between them. And then add these moss blocks and a couple azalea bushes that we built earlier. Now that the stone part of the lush cave has been constructed, let's throw on some glowberry vines to make it really pop. Thankfully I have a pick a brick cup full of leaf pieces and I also got some of these light green leaf pieces in a brickling order. And we can throw in some of these orange pieces as the glowberries. I used these Technic pins to hang the vines upside down, and with that all done, the structures and biomes in the underworld are complete. I finished up the walls with some more ores, and now I can move on to step 3 of the ultimate game plan. Okay, so I started laying down the first layer of brown, but I forgot that I would need to blend the stone into the dirt to make it look more organic. So now I have to take off this entire layer, and I guarantee a lot of these brown bricks are going to break. Bruh. Rest in peace, brown plate. Alright, and now while I start building up the first layer of brown blocks, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video. If you watched my last video, which you should have, you already know about Squarespace, so rather than listing a bunch of the cool features you may have already seen, I'm just going to show you the website I made. I had never built a website before, but because of the very easy to use tools provided on the site, it was super simple. Uh oh, the brown big death toll is rising. <laughs> I could very easily create a menu for my website, as well as use the button feature to link different parts of the website, as well as external links. It was super easy to create all of these pages, such as the Portfolio tab. And Squarespace is perfect for creating different branding and styles to suit any of your needs. You'll be hard pressed to find an easier way to make your own website. But unfortunately, I was also pressing hard on my build, and this happened. Not ideal, but I was able to fix it. If you are in need of a great way to make your own website and start your online business now, or just want to check it out, I'll have my website linked below. There's also some funny easter eggs I added, so comment which ones you found. And once you're ready, go to squarespace.com slash rjmbricks to get 10% off your first purchase of a Squarespace website or domain. But anyways, back to the $1000 build. Now that I've finished blending the stone into the dirt and building up the walls, let's start the top of the overworld off with a lake. I threw in a couple lily pads on top to accommodate the literal best mob LEGO has ever made for Minecraft. Then we can sauce in some delicious 2x2 green tiles to smooth it all over. I also put some jumper plates in there so there's spots to connect players and mobs. To spice up the world generation and use more of the brown bricks I bought, I'm going to add an archway and a cliff at the back which brings us on to game plan part 4. Now that we have an arch and a bit of the cliff built up, let's go steal Steve's bucket that he lost from dying to a bee and fill up another lake. Then we can start tiling the top over, build up the mountain slope, throw in a shiny emerald, and finally top it off with a small ice peak at the top. Wow, that was like putting the star on the top of a Christmas tree. Now that it's finished, I'm going to have an ex Lego Masters contestant and Lego Minecraft builder legend, Cheesy Studios, judge my build. Yo. Hey, oh wow, that is much taller than I expected it to be. That's fantastic. I like how we've got even the, the deep dark down at the bottom with the changing of the stone color and a dungeon up here. Oh, awesome! That's actually the spawner design that uh, I had used quite a few years ago now. I think that's really effective. Oh, awesome! So, dripstone cave, bats from the ceiling. I like the addition of the, the ore in the side. You, you even got the dirt patch. Um, and love the amount of players that you're including here, too. That's another great way to add some color in life and do a build. Yes! That can eat up leaf and green parts like crazy. Glad you added one though, because uh, especially in a gray, gray underground area, that can add so much life. Yes, let's get to the surface. Oh, 
gotta have the pandas and the bamboo. I guess the one thing, there's a lot of dirt. That's a lot of dirt. Uh, did you run out of gray? <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, the only thing I would like to have, would have seen, uh, maybe on the surface, is some more more gray. But if you ran out of bricks, I can't really blame you for that. Good job adding the the texture into the jungle trees, though, with the the profile bricks there. That does help a lot. Oh, hey, more water. Oh, and it's cold, and you've changed the water color. That's actually really good. This is crazy. How tall it gets. Great to see the shulker box in there too. Oh, I like how you extended the stone down in the back. That's really nice. All the way around though, where the stone meets the dirt though, you could have easily just made that a straight line, but I'm glad you didn't. Breaking it up like that just feels, it feels like you grabbed a proper chunk from, from Minecraft and built it in bricks. That's awesome. Yeah, overall, I, I like this a lot. I mean, the, the amount of like details that you've added in the sides with the caves and stuff is fantastic. Thanks again to Ty for building some sus $1 builds and to Cheesy for judging my build. I'll link both their channels below, so make sure you go subscribe to both of them. And don't forget to start your next online business with Squarespace. See ya!